What's up everybody? Today we're gonna give you our top 10 Marvel characters of all time. Let's get to it. Top 10 list people, Marvel characters. This is our list, okay? Our list, individually, not ours as a group. Individually, you can never come up as a group. We can never come up with this group as much as we like. You've seen those live debates. <laughs> you, you've seen any other video, you know. Top 10 characters, Marvel. Here's each of our lists. Anthony's going to start off. Are you going to go first or I go first? I'll I go know. first. I'll go first. You, you're, 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 the inner, you're full of energy and everything. All right. Mine are not in any particular order, although I was yelled at to put them in order. I couldn't. It was Please, forever. Gotta, gotta know this, this is top 10. Top 10 enough is enough controversy as is, okay? You guys can debate that as you fit. All the oh, people want to order, brother. They uh, need an order. They, they're not getting in for this particular video, but you are getting my top 10 Marvel characters. Here we go. At number 10. I ain't gonna say at number 10. But <laughs> no, 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 you're not. I know, right? That is cool. At number 10. You know, you know what? This is his order. It started at number 10. It's a lot of pressure on you now. It's not pressure at all. Captain America. Captain America. Only at 10? Like, no. hey, let the people let the people say that too. A lot of people are probably saying that already too. At least you made a list. That's what you should be really saying. No. Um, Captain America, because it's Captain America, he is um, everything that you need and want in a person who is he has all the characteristics of a of a hero. He is the quintessential, as they put it, quintessential uh, person, uh, uh, heroic person. There is Captain America number ten, number nine, Deadpool, because he's the complete opposite. He is because <laughs> he is the opposite. He is just Deadpool. You need comedy. Like I need. Well, you don't need comedy. I need comedy, and in the comics, how he goes about situations is he breaks people down, and he asks a lot of questions, and questions might not seem like they mean anything when he's initially asking them, but it, it means a lot. Like, he's breaking down each situation and deals with a situation, and uh, depending on what it is, he doesn't approach everything the same. But he does approach it all the same with humor. And he is sarcastic to the core. He can't help it. Everything is sarcastic. But he means well. But at the same time, you don't need to be... He, he knows you can't be a hero. Everybody's not worth saving. Which is what makes him, like, the best character that you could possibly think of, you know. He, yeah, with me saying that, you would think he would be my number one and everything, but yeah, I can't this, is, explain, not, explain this is not my actual order, okay? It feels like an order. But it's not. It feels like an order. Number eight. Is he better than Captain America? Number eight. Nick Fury. Nick Fury has to be on everybody's list of top <laughs> ten Marvel characters because Nick Fury is everywhere. He's in all he knows. He's got his nose in everything, despite the fact that he got... He's now like the Watcher or whatever. Yeah, that's okay because the other Nick Fury, because there's two Nick Furies. I you in this list. There's both Nick Furies. Both Nick Furies. You using both Nick Furies are on this list um, as one as Nick Fury. Both Nick Furies on this list as Nick Fury because he gets stuff done in a leadership role and a person who needs to make that decision because that's his role. As a leader is to make the hard choices, he didn't hesitate. He made those those choices. He was a perfect chess player. Well, not literally a chess player, but in his leadership role, he went about it as a chess <clears throat> player and was steps ahead of people. Let me put it like that. Okay, number seven, Professor X. If you're going to have, I feel as though, if you're going to have a Marvel characters list, there would be no X-Men without Professor X. You could argue that all you want, doesn't matter. You're still with mutants though. Professor X wouldn't be X-Men. And X-Men are everything in the Marvel world. In the world of Marvel Comics, X-Men are huge. Professor X is the, is the man who started it all, Professor X. Plus, he stuck to his guns. Peace, pacifist, it's a must happen. 
Number six, Thor. What? God of Thunder. This is no particular order. I'm not, God of Thunder. I'm not saying that. He's on my list. You I'm not know saying it. that. I like the order. Thor. I'm saying that he's on the list. Because I like him. Thor is just, I like talking about what I did. I like drinking a good beer. And I like giving people lightning. <laughs> God of Sparkles. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he did. He did do him wrong with all the lightning stuff in Thor Ragnarok. It was still a good movie, though. Um, number five, Hulk. Everything needs to get smashed. You need somebody dumb, strong out there smashing everything every now and then. I think Hulk is just great. And then when he reverts back, he just happens to be a genius, a little sappy, soft genius and everything. But I like Hulk. I don't like Bruce Banner, but I like Hulk. Um, that's a personal favorite. Wait, why do you like Bruce Banner? That's um, the question. Um, because he's he doesn't... He doesn't accept his Hulk form. If somebody had that kind of, if you had, once he got to the point where he could control the Hulk and like when he got into the part when, uh, when Hulk was, he was able to um, control Hulk and everything, basically, I thought he should have, um, he should have accepted it and used it to his advantage. Instead, he, throughout all the comics, he always ran from it. Like it's Hulk. The it strongest like, there is. Because it's a disease to him. Be, be, it is. But at some point, you found a way. It, he can't. He couldn't get rid of the disease. And then when he did get rid of it, he felt empty without it. And wanted it back. And he and eventually he got it back. Live with it. Live with it, bro. Accept it. Take advantage of it. You see, it, he, he did treat it like it was a disease. It wasn't. It was. It was it pure was. strength. It was other than disease. It was a monster. Pure strength. I loved it. I wish I could hook out and have control. Control. The part where he didn't have control, like in Thor Ragnarok, where he was blacked out. He didn't know that the Hulk had took over for two years. That's not cool. You got to get that out of control. That part's not fun. But once you get control of it, and he did have control of it eventually in the comics, then you're good to go. Number four. Which one? All of them as a whole. Because Spider-Man is a name and a symbol. And if you're a hero and you're a character, a Marvel character who is portrayed as a hero, which is this sim which is Spider-Man, then it could be all of them. Spider-Man. So would you say the same thing about the Captain America? <laughs> yep. Definitely Captain America. You took the mantle of the you took the name of the mantle. The Did name you say that about, and the mantle. Like the Red Hawk and all of them too? Yes, because they're all hoax. Yes. I just asked a question. Yes. Now, it was a good question because they're going to ask it too in the comment section, but now they don't have to ask it in the comment section because we answered it. I don't think it was the right answer. It may not have been the answer you wanted, but it's an answer. Spider-Man. Spider-Man as a whole. All Spider-Man. They're all dope. So, Iron Man. This is my number three. We're keeping it moving. Iron Man's number three because we got to get to you next. Iron Man is Iron Man. He's cool. Iron Man is Iron Man. What kind of Iron explanation Man. is that? Oh, yo, he's a he's a playboy philanthropist. Okay, it's called Johansson. Yeah, I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> okay, you know, right, you know the spill. You playboy philanthropist, you know, all that other stuff. I can, my memory is shot today. I can't remember the rest of what it was. Billionaire, billionaire playboy, billionaire playboy from Netflix. Yeah, yeah, you know, they know, you know. We've all seen the movie. I mean, it's cool. He's a genius who could create his own stuff, his own armor. He's rich. He's man, that's cool. What? My number two, Storm. That's it. That's what you want to say? She doesn't need any explanation. She's Storm. Ooh. I wish she would. It's Storm. Oh, the X Men. <laughs> Number one, <laughs> Black Panther. Why you get no explanation? Screw y'all. That's like when somebody said, "Oh yeah, Storm." That's like I number one is number one. Okay, it's Storm. Number one, Black Panther. I knew everybody knew that was coming. Not first. in any particular order. But, Black Panther was number one. But number one, Black Panther for all the same reasons as Iron Man. Plus, he's the king of Wakanda. So, Wakanda forever. So you not just gonna say Black Panther because? Black, he's Black Panther. Well, I mean, I gave the explanation for Iron Man, and he's all of that plus more. He's a playboy. He's a billionaire. He's a 
philanthropist. He even showed that in his new movie, uh, Black Panther, at the end of it, where now he's opening it up and letting everybody out there. So he's definitely going to be a philanthropist now. And he's single still, and he's single again in the comics. And Not single in the movie. I'm and he's open. And he's a billionaire. Or actually. He's a trillionaire? He might be. In my world, well, it doesn't matter. He's the richest person in the world no matter what. So it really doesn't matter. He's the richest person on this world and the other world, Bast. Look that up, people. Planet Bast. His, right. He created, okay. Okay. Excuse me. He created a planet. Okay. How much cooler can you get? <laughs> you would have thought that. You would have thought that Thanos would have just did something simple as that instead of trying to kill everybody, just create a planet and live on this planet. And have a good life and everything, you know, create his people again. His name is the Mad Titan. You know, do something chilled and everything, or just create a place for him and death, and him and death can chill and stuff, you know. He's the Mad Titan, bro. He ain't gotta be mad all the time. You can chill and relax, you know. You know, you don't like villains. I don't like villains. Villains are pointless. The heroes would be pointless without a villain. No, because there's always gonna be somebody who wants to think the opposite way. There's always gonna be heroes and always gonna be. But just the saying, you say villains are pointless. They're all pointless. There's no need for you to be a bad person. There would be no need for be a hero to stop them. There's got to be a hero to stop them. Why? If there's no. You saying there's no bad people? No, there's no need for people to be bad. Just it would, it would be little, no, whatever makes you happy in life. Well, I mean, go do that. And so, I mean, somebody's the thing of being happy in life is killing other people. Then we got a problem. And we need. That's when the heroes pop in. That's what we have Batman for, and Black Panther, and Storm, and everybody else. And Captain America, and Spider-Man. What else okay. Is what else is on my list? Who you know, your own list? Thor, Spider-Man. I didn't memorize it, okay? I didn't need to memorize it. Your list? Here we go. Finally, got some fire. I don't know what that was. That was a lighter, you know. That was sparkles. Yeah, no, yours, <laughs> yours is like a little light in there. All right, so light. number 10 is Medusa, the queen of Atlantia. Wow. Yes. Nobody saw that coming. Yes, I mean, I love Black Ball, but there's only so much you can do without talking. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Right. Now, I know they messed it up in the TV show. Don't go there. Go read the book. Thank you. Read the books, because that's where I'm getting mine from. Some of this from. Number nine is Ironheart. Not Iron Man, but Ironheart. The reason I'm saying Ironheart is because mostly I read her book last and it is like a made her origin story of her losing her real uh, uh, real father and then come back and losing her stepfather and her best friend. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And still persevering at that young of an age and she's like, Absolute brilliant genius, and she did. She's not like Moon Girl, where she's the smallest person because it's in a human transformation. She just has that intelligent gift. Needs to be. I know a lot of people don't like Iron. Like, why are you giving black characters to white people? Taking past all that, her story is amazing. That's all you really need to know. Number eight is Nova, Sam Alexander. He's just funny to me. Him and him with the rest of the champions. This is a great story, and I love his story for some reason. Uh, go prefacing, prefacing again, a lot of these books, a lot of these characters I'm saying because I'm reading their books and they're just like, I'm just getting wild. Just getting wild over here. Just getting wild, my brother. Okay. What? what? It's your list, top ten. Number seven. No fuck. Yeah. I don't know how you got Thor. I don't know how you got Thor. Number seven is Blue Marvel. I don't know how Thor is on everybody's list. It's Thor. Alright, we, we did your list. You want to go to a bar? Hey, 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 we did your list, man. Come on, calm down. It's over for you. It's over for you. It's over. Alright, number seven is Blue Marvel. He's like one of the strongest characters he is. ever. I and he tampered down because the government didn't want a black man that strong. They, but, they, I know, right? I know, oh, man. But instead of just... He's just, he's just great. And with the Ultimates, he's really using and he not played, only his powers, what? he's using his intelligence. So he's not only powerful, he's also abnormally intelligent. Like he's smarter than Tony Stark. Super genius. So he deserves to be on greatness. He's nah, no, oh, no, nah, don't. What? 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 I'm not changing my list. I don't worry about what I'm doing. Who's <laughs> your next? Wait, what was that? Blue Number Marvel. six 
It's Miss Marvel. It's a lot of Marvels too. For you it is. Miss Marvel is no somebody who in the Civil War and her tie-in had literally choked. All right, let's take a step back. Let's take all the way step back. She is a big fan of Captain Marvel. Okay, she's an inhuman. She's a big cat, fan of Captain Marvel. Loved her instead of a woman was the strongest. Her making the right decisions, all that good stuff. Then in Civil War, she had to take that. She had to take a step back. Like, look, you're wrong. You're trying to lock up people before they did something wrong. I'm not with that. So I'm going to go against you, but still show you your respect. But I can't pick on your side. And that. That was a turning point for me. Even though she got one of her best friends radically hurt, changed his whole life around. But he got to go to Wakanda, so. How I mean, how you feel? She, I look, yeah, and she's a hero of the neighborhood. She's not all fighting galactic wars everywhere. She's right here. Streets, in the in, streets. In New Jersey, saving her, helping her people. You walk Let's up she, to her. Let's she riding off with the champions, which she started because she left the Avengers thinking that they didn't care enough about the regular people. She is a hero for the people. Mm -hmm. Put a tracking device on it. You could probably find out where she lives. Yeah, that's sad. <laughs> but hey, that's life. She's, she's new to the game. She is new she to is the game. She is new to the game. Who you got next? Number five is Thanos. I pick villains on mine, so I'm not like him. Thanos is the quincy. He is, like he's the big bad. Like, the big bad. When he comes to your, when you hear Thanos coming, you shit yourself a little bit. Okay, let's just keep it real. You scared? Wait, what? Yeah, you do. Okay. okay. <laughs> you think you don't? Mm -hmm. Okay. The, you, right, let's see if Thanos is real. Would you shoot yourself in that? We'll see Infinity War. What you're going to some, do? There's going to be some scary. What you're going to do? And there's a couple theories that the Hulk is too scared to come out and fight Thanos. You got to show me why the Hulk is too scared. This is the Hulk we're talking about. Yeah, my point exactly. So Strong Thanos, stuff. number five. And then if he ever, when he does get that Infinity Gauntlet again with the all Infinity Stones, look out, it's a wrap. And no, and in, in my estimation, and just like he said, nobody should be a bad guy. Look, some people are gonna be bad, you can't change it. Yep. But the a great hero is only as good as his bad, as his villain. Your antagonist is horrible and is easily defeated, then your stories are suck and there's no need to read them. Thanos, when he's in the picture, he's in the frame, you know you gotta come up with something creative to stop him. I don't know what that is. That it's a frame in the frame. Oh. In the frame. Go ahead, keep going. They know. They know. You didn't go to film school. I did, and I, and I chose the reason why. Number four is Captain Marvel. Again, another. I know it's like a lot of Marvel, as a matter of fact. Yeah. But Captain Marvel is just Captain Marvel strong. She's like the Wonder Woman of DC, in my opinion. She's strong, mm -hmm. powerful. Tries to make the right choices all the time. Now she doesn't always do it, but she all her part is always in the right place, and she always is trying to look out for what's the best. Of, it used to just be the best of the United States, but now it's the best for the world since she's in charge of. Oh, can't believe I forgot the thing. What sword? Yeah, thank you. Sheesh, thank you, Savior, my people, kind of forever. And she's also she also helped create the ultimates, so can't take that away from. Number three is Magneto, my man. <laughs> All right, he said Professor X is on his it. list. You Magneto, you cannot let your people go down without a fight. When they try to take from you, you go back and you take that what they took, and you take back even more. Magneto, my man. <sighs> Got that out. They don't need to say Magneto. He will fight for you and your people to the death. He's make the hard choices that he talk about other people has to make. Like, oh, who's Nick on? Fury? Like, Nick Fury? Magneto's make those hard choices. Some of you X-Men can't live, but this would be better. Your death will be the rise of our people. Can't let that go. He's recruited you, uh, clearly. Number number two. But he's a Killmonger fan. I am a Killmonger fan. Number two is Black Panther. He's, oh, like you said, what's on? he's Black Panther. The king of Wakanda, you know what I'm saying? He literally is because of his, the, because of the resources that he's he's the king of. You know, nobody else in the world has a vibranium. He is the richest person in any earth, in any universe. Like they even did a study, he would have more money than anybody in DC. 
anybody in Marvel. He is smart. He doesn't get enough credit for his intelligence, but he's a genius intellect. He's fighting capability cannot be matched. He's beating he's beating Captain America in the fist of fight. He's actually taking in a cartoon. There's one cartoon. Forget the cartoon. Car books. I'm just saying though. In a cartoon, he went out and fought all the Avengers as testing them like. Oh, you guys can help me when I need you. That's how he goes. He's comic books too. He he's amazing. Number one, here we go. Spider Man, but not all like him. No match for here. It's Miles Morales. No, it's all for you. Miles Morales is my number one favorite comic book, uh, Marvel comic book character right now. And the way Michael Bendis, I'm saying his name right. Yeah, Michael Bendis was. Writing him in his in his book that's out right now, oh my gosh, it was fantastic. That's one of the reasons why he's number one, because mm -hmm. that book is like fantastic. And what he's got to go through right now with his parents, well, it's not his parents, his father already knew that he was Spider-Man. His mom finding out, he lied to me. Now his uncle's <laughs> back in the fray with uh with some kind of new tech. It's just it's just amazing. And it's just great. Man. Way to go, way to go, Miles Morales. I'm sorry that they took some of your characters and put them in Spider-Man Homecoming. I'm gonna eventually let that go, but you, your your books are amazing. Your character is amazing. You deserve to be number one on my list. You deserve to be at least in top ten of people's hearts. Way to go. We're done here. Sign us out. Well, you've heard his list. You've heard my list. Let us know your list in the comment section below. If you like what you see, hit that like button. If you love what you see, hit that subscribe button and tell a friend. Don't forget to hit the bell over there to the side so you can be notified about the next time or one of our video drops. Till next time, bye guys.